Alrighty, it is one o'clock. And uh, I need everybody to be quiet, please. It's one o'clock, and it's time for us uh, for the meeting we have on our schedule. Let's see, department's workshop. I want to go over a couple things first. Of all, this is about the, uh, the possible new building across the street, and this meeting is to talk to departments that uh, we have identified as most likely to end up over there where you're not talking about funding today. So if you're here to talk about ARPA, you ain't talking about it. We're talking to departments that are that have been identified and some of the concerns to see if we can work out some of those details. So if you want to stick around for that, that's awesome. But, uh, we're not talking about funding. So with that, Spencer, I will turn this over to you. Okay, well, hi all, uh, thanks for coming. Stan said uh, we're kind of here to, to do a couple of things. One is, um, one is to kind of answer any questions about this EMS building as it relates to your departments, you know, um, and to discuss any questions and concerns that you have with the floor plans. The idea is here, here is to get everybody in the room and voice your opinion you want more space or certain things added to your department area, this is the place to do it. This is the place because the commissioners are making the decisions on that, not me. So my thought is that we just kind of go through department by department and kind of discuss any concerns or issues that you have with the concept that we provided everyone. Are you going to, are you going to start with the comments we've already got to that from the departments? I was going to start just alphabetical, start okay. with the corner, and and what I'd like to do is I'd like to have any comments voiced here, right. and get the commissioners yay or nay, and the the yeses will add to will add to this list and give that to H two A, okay, and the noes will not be included in the project, okay. So and that was uh, my for the record, we could we have Commissioner Bradshaw Donald present. Okay, so so I guess um, Rob, yes, uh, I, you're alphabetically corners first. So do you want to voice some concerns or comments about the project? Uh, no, not from my office. I, I've spoken with the HQA about just the, the format of our the freezer and actually adding a. Uh, a, a storage closet for records and that kind of thing between um, the freezer and parks. Want to give them a little bit of a buffer between you know the sound of the freezer, the cooler that would be on, and then also um, any kind of odor that might come through. Okay, great. Um, so another question that I had um, was the freezer area. Is that sufficient? Sideways. You know, yes, and in fact, uh, in discussing that, I was going to take uh, a number of feet off the freezer to make that closet space because the freezer that we have here is is large, um, and uh, which is fine. But I, I would prefer to have a smaller freezer and an extra storage area for records and that. Kind so of one of the things that we all the departments keep in mind is that we are we, we want this. We don't want to be typical. We, it's typically done in Bonner County where we design it for today. Right. Yeah. We want to make sure we're looking 50 years down the road. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So that because it's going to cost a lot more to add later mm -hmm. on or change later on than it right. will to do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. And for us, because we have nothing right. at, at this point, I'm trying to um, uh, think about uh, the possibility of us maybe even in the future, 25 years after I'm gone, that we may even do our own pathology office. If that were the case, that I think the cooler. Um, as it sits now, is still very large for, for us. Yeah, I just um, want to make sure I get that. Yeah, I want to yeah. start trying to project in the future, and I, I want to. We want to do this once. Yeah, absolutely. So. Okay, so um, moving on, I reached out to Jeff. He said he didn't. Jeff Lindsay, uh, EMS chief, he didn't have any comments. I he did. Oh, he did. He wanted a fourth bedroom where the bathroom is by the stairwell. He wanted to make that a fourth bedroom. Okay, I thought we had resolved that. Is that not the case? Maybe we have. I mean, can you talk to the yeah. There have been a couple changes oh. that have been addressed on our end already. I believe that one in the freezer for the corner is that. Oh, okay. 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 I so we're good there. 
Um, human resources and risk. So let's just start with human resources. Did you have any comments on the floor plan? Uh, or no. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, several offices. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's three or four offices, and then you have four or five areas for cubicles. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah, all that space in yellow, Cindy, up here. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, same guy. I see that. Yeah. One of those offices is for us. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, we need to add that. We'll add that to our advice. Okay. Um, the only, you know, the profile looks fine. Uh, the only concern I would raise at the end of some storage up there for uh, the assessor, I believe, for their to replace right, They've got to have lock storage because yeah, of the confidentiality. Yeah. I don't think it would be a problem to add a lock in the storage area. Yeah. It seems to me that the printer area can be revised to have a <coughs> storage room with the, the printer on the wall. Well, I wondered if we should have a separate storage room. Um, and I'm wondering, if, so this uh, this area down here, um, in the what if we put a wall through a wall up there, right by that other exit door? So we had a secured room there that was locked. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've got a you've got a ton of room in here for expansion. There is a lot of room for HR, so we could actually wall a piece of this in and make it into the box storage room. Yeah. Okay. Separate. Well, we're just looking at conference area. Yeah. So conference mostly for HR because they have daily they have new hires and pay for it and other stuff so it's almost like a couple times a day they have a video private so well we have we have two conference rooms up there okay. and then we have another one on the first floor okay. so there's plenty of shared well, conference the, the, yeah well, except the conference room right now the area we have for new employees has our own uh, you know, the computer to do all of them hmm. so they use a computer probably almost for a full day for their own it wouldn't be affordable to use one right here, but another conference, a, a conference, a, a, a training area. room, a training area. Well, I, I I kind of figured that we would use that small conference room for that, and being that it's adjacent to HR. It can still be a shared conference room, but when HR is using it, they can use it all day. There's another larger conference room just down the hall as well. And then, so it won't be an issue where it, it's second floor room where you schedule a request in, but it's not always available. I think that's the key. HR, but HR uses there so much. It'd be nice if it's almost a exclusive HR one, but others could use an emergency, but really they need it all the time. Yeah, so, well, I think one, one, of, one of the things we'll see with this addition too is it'll help alleviate the problems we've had with the availability of conference rooms. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. but I think we, I think we just need to make sure we put computers in, the computer in there. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't I think, I think overall we have, I think we have eight departments and we have at least three conference, four conference rooms. So I'm not sure, I think that's going to be plenty. Plus we have our, we have, I mean, we have a, this vacant area next to IT. As far as um, as far as being located next to payroll, so the, that's one thing that that's another thing that's not under my control. 
so that the commissioners have decided what departments are going and staying, and it's up to them. So yeah, one of the things we looked at was traffic flow. Um, the we made some pressure that both the parking lots because of other things were moving around. So, so it just made sense. And with, with the ability to transfer stuff electronically, we needed the parking lot. Okay, um, solid waste emergency management. We're good. Good? Yep. Well, that was pretty easy. Okay, technology. Did you guys, yeah. I know you guys only barely got it in short notice. Short notice, I'm just prepared. My name is Jacob Storm. I work for Bonner County Information Technology. I'm the lead technician. Um, just one of the things briefly that I did not see are demarcation points for the building, riser closets for cable, being that we're going to be on the second floor. You know, with the consideration that other entities are not going to be tied into our network, we need to look at the segregation for that. If needed, physically, physically needed, which means we're going to need probably two separate circuits. Um, all things considered, going on as of late. Um, and then, then there's the other thing about you know my, that was brought to attention that we didn't. We we're looking to kind of consolidate our staff here in this building. I think I spoke with you briefly about that. So mm -hmm. this is a rather large building. We're still looking for staffing, um, but I don't see us all completely consolidating. So that would, I was wondering how that would look with staff members that wouldn't either be brought over to that building or vice versa. So that so, large amount of space if it can be utilized for something like auditing maybe we could cut that down um but then you know we have a server room up there which we're gonna have to have services brought to and then for you know corner here he'd have to have separate service either brought to his office or you know however that's going to look i just didn't see that on any of the mapping yeah we haven't we haven't really engaged like any of our electrical engineering stuff this is all conceptual layout okay. stuff now so but it's good to bring these things up yeah so as a suggestion demarcation at least having a dedicated closet especially for for the riser closets as far as the cabling being transferred up to the second floor that's going to be needed and how, how big are those closets are they like a i mean it could be, the, the riser closets can be a small closet space but depending on what kind of uh, telecom services we're going to have for the building, whether or not we're going to, you know, we're probably not going to go POTS because we're all IP phone based anyway. You know, you'll have to have a fiber panel put in and that kind of stuff. So there'll be something that we're going to have. We have a fiber junction over there as well already. So. There is? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, when we did the fiber, we first, when Jeff and I first came to the office, it, it wasn't on the original the, list. In, in there. And we had them at it. And this is something yeah. that we can engage your department on yeah. as we get like our electrical engineers yeah. rolling on. So like Dan said, for planning to make sure this is, future, you know, we build for the future, this would be a good thing to at least address. Okay. Um, as far as the personnel, uh, the commissioner's gonna have to answer that question. I don't, yeah. I'm not sure, like, my- so Initially it was our goal to, to move our whole department and get us as a team together. Yes. And that just hasn't happened, and with, you know, we're looking for other people and stuff like that. We'll see where we go. We've got ample space up there, but we may still have some space in this building. So the ultimate goal is to, I don't know if you know what the ultimate goal is. No. Nope. So the ultimate, there's two ultimate goals here. We pay probably 10 grand a month for the EMS building over there, mm -hmm. which we rent, and it's a, it's a mouse trap, it's They're got holes in it, yeah. it's got all kinds of problems, and it's inadequate for the use. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to get out of that, and then we want to move DMV into the first floor of road bridges, right. move road bridges back. Uh, we need to get by state statute DMV is supposed to be in Sandpoint it's the county seat plus we're paying what 1700 bucks a month rent over there mm -hmm. for a yeah. yeah so there's there's twelve thousand dollars thirteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars by the time it's all said and done it's going up every year mm -hmm. we won't have to pay out anymore every month or yeah. every year well however you guys make it work is fine we can make it work so yeah we can move the there's going to be some changes in this building as well we're going to probably move some of the deck chairs around in here mm -hmm. as well yeah, so yeah, just preparation for making sure that we get lost side, right. their own circuit, we right. get our own circuit, and then the infrastructure is better to support that. Yeah, we, we'll make sure to, let's make sure we'll be involved in the conversation when we get to uh, yeah. the EE side, electrical engineers, so we get all that okay. stuff chased out and everything. So. Cool. Okay, is Brian here? Oh, Brian is here. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. 
Bless you. Pleasure. Welcome home. Thank you. Okay, speak to the devil. Veterans, Ryan. So do you still have the sheet that I had submitted before? I have your comments. Um, okay. I think one thing I want to address here, I think, you know, providing a larger space and some, some more access for ADA stuff is fine. The one thing um, that you raised a concern about was the, the potential of remaining in the admin building. And so that's one thing I'd like to clear up here if we could. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm that, all, that's my understanding. Yeah, I, I'm confident the commissioners put me over there uh, for convenience and really close to the door and all that. So I, no, no question about that. Either way you put me is fine. Uh, we're going to be comfortable with that. It was mainly um, the HIPAA things that I've got to be concerned about. Right. Yeah. So she can't be out in public at all. And um, she really can't be where there's a pass through to other departments. She couldn't go to the bathroom without putting everything away, locking it up, because uh, we can't trust anybody else in the other departments. And just kidding about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, the, the wheelchair in my office with three other family members, which is, there's no way we could fit everybody in there. One thing that I hadn't thought about when I wrote it up was that I know Rob does a great job dealing with deceased and things like that, but thinking about the people who come in, it would just be my great fortune that if someone would have some kind of a flashback when they smelled something that seeped through the building where uh, Rob is working on somebody. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm sure there's going to be fans hooked up, keep all that out of the building, but I would not want to put somebody through that who has already gone through that and then we've got to call EMS over right away. Because well, they'll be close. Yeah. Well, they will be very close. <laughs> but we've got to go through. can have Rob shower every day. Yeah. Start showering every day. I do, yes. Yeah. Some light switches you don't want to flip. Right, yeah, exactly. Ex exactly. So I guess I'd He's like to hear from, from the like, are we going to move forward with veterans over there or are we going to keep them here and try to work with that? Let's keep it static for now, and let me, let me, we need to work on this building, how we're going to rearrange that chairs a little bit. Just get up there. We may be able to leave here, um, but for now, let's, if you don't mind, Brian, let's, just, right. let's leave it static, and because I think uh, when we get to waterways, there may be some extra space there. Where's Pete? Because Pete's talked about, uh, and obviously I'm reading ahead, um, relocating District 3 shop, so that'll open up uh, that park spot, which may let us be some be closer to the corner well no what i'm saying is that it'll, it'll i'm just thinking about the wheelchair access and be able to yes. ask three or four people in your office at the time with the wheelchair sure or the and two. if i if i could if i could just interject here real sure. quick i think I, I think i sent out the site plan for a review Fran and i had a couple ideas about accessing wheelchair access for veteran services and i think we can put two ada or dedicated veteran service parking lots parking spaces right next to that door right next to that door and just say, hey, these are vet only, and all they have to do is walk in the door and take a left. Um, and that way they don't have to go around the building, around the EMS, and come in from the division street. So Rob, is there a way to control odor? Well, they try. Not yours. <laughs> I, um, I try. Uh, there is, there's fans, industrial, and the, and, and the, and the like. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I have not been to a morgue yet where I can't smell. So, and usually, uh, if it's there in a freezer, it kind of makes right. It, it, well, it stops the process, yeah. right? Um, and so, yes, but sometimes we are already past that process. Yeah, I mean, it's off conversations about yes, it is. but it's the truth of the matter, right? right. I mean, that's what's going to happen. Um, and luckily, we're kind of on a corner where that freezer is, and like I said, in, in, in hopes to kind of mitigate some of that, cutting some of the freezer space out to create a buffer between um, parts. Yeah, that's where we'll have your your storage space, right? Yeah, to kind of help with that a little bit. Um, but. So going back to veteran services, um, and, and looking ahead with, to uh, to what Pete is interested in, um, we may need to go ahead and manipulate the size of Brian's office to accommodate, make sure we have enough room to accommodate. That's I was planning on doing that okay. and maybe bumping out that <coughs> conference area. And My thought thing was is that Rob would need another space, a little bit larger space for the freezer area yeah. for future use, and that we could combine that. We could basically remove that shared conference room, bump Ryan's space up a little bit, rearrange, you know, after addressing all the HIPAA stuff, 
three, give him a little bit bigger space, and then give the freezer a little bit bigger space, and just keep that. So Brian, let me ask you a question: If we walled, because your setup right now, you've got just that window, right? And it has been primarily walled off with a door. What if we put? What if we threw a wall up here with a window um, on the front? Are you? Do you have a copy of that? I do. Okay. So along the front leg of that uh, of that desk, that L-shaped desk, right? We threw a wall up there with a window about centered up in that room, so they're. They can't oh. really see. Oh, it, well, the only thing there is then you got uh, the waiting room out in the main hallway there, and that's uh, it might be nicer if they weren't just sitting out in the hallway. I noticed some of the other places have a little bit more secluded for the waiting area. I'm just trying to think of the customer and to make sure that, however, if you have the wall, that, that means that other departments won't be walking through them, right? Okay, that, that would be great. Um, the other thing is, as they're well, coming, I think we have to have, don't we? Have, we have to have secondary egress out of that. Anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't have to be used all but the time. But it may not be it a pass through. It'll just be. It can be fire access, fire access type thing. So it won't be a normal traffic way. Oh, okay. And get it into your office. You'll have it secondary egress. Yeah, it, and I realize that uh, people who come in, uh, Mary talks through the window, and the door is normally open. But at least there is a just a doorway that, to the outside. This way. <laughs> She'd be talking into that large lobby area right. about, I think, I about think HIPAA we, things, and that's not really appropriate. She'll be talking about ED and all sorts of stuff with people. So all right. I think we can I think we can look at that a little more and come up with a really okay. good design that we'll be happy with. We just have to we just have to take take that next design step. I think we can come up with something that will make everyone happy. Yeah, because even just taking a quick look at it, you could almost. Well, we can talk about that later, but then we yeah. see if we can put it on here and then yeah, get more direct to access to tunnels right into your right into that reception space. Great. Well, Spencer, there was also something I just forgot to mention before. I also talked to the HOA about a small office for my deputy corner, some workouts, so they just have to work out of mine. And so uh, we talked about maybe going to that yellow area up on the top. So we could swap that somewhere else, you know, along this side and give even more room to, to Brian if that were the case. or. Well, yeah, okay, so, um, yeah, and the thing is, like, okay, if we have parks, we have to have not really determine what, what's going to happen with parks yet. Okay. But if parks mm -hmm. isn't going to be there, that's going to be an open spot. Okay. I mean, we're not going to just leave that open. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be an office for somebody. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, there's going to be space there. Yes. Okay. Anything else, Brent? No, sir. Okay. He, he, the other points are uh, part of so Yeah, I, was, I read through them before the meeting, so I got a, got a good idea what you're getting at here. So. Thank you. Go ahead. You want to move out to District 3 Roadshop? Yeah, like you touched on there a little bit, we're, we're looking at options of bringing all of recreation uh, together into one building at, at the, on the Spalding Armour Road there, at our, at our building there, and um, that pretty much covers it. Um, Honestly, at the very first glimpse of the plan, I was a little bit concerned. Again, nothing, you know, I think the, the topic was kind of already touched on over there next to the freezer and everything was um, a little oh, come on. for me. Robert, you got to believe me, no, no, no. no not not take it, trust me, yeah. trust me. Yeah. You got to so, be a little weird to do my job, so sorry. <laughs> uh, but no, we're looking at uh, No comment. <laughs> yeah, oh, let me comment. Well, I think it makes more sense to you think you'll be right where the action is when your guys are coming in, in and out every day. Yeah, it would be a benefit for the department. As opposed to you being here and there over there. That's right, yeah. So that's something we can make that change. Um, we came out to play. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's something I haven't considered yet. I'm not sure how we're supposed to fund that construction. You know, that'll be for us to figure out. That will be, yes. So that is up to you. Where's that your stuff? Your stuff up, you already have equipment out of three, right? We do. We're we're in the one side of the road and bridge building, um, which we lose half of the one side each winter for you know the sand trucks and right. that need to be stored. So our, our our space is super limited, and all of our equipment is outside. Basically. Are you thinking of your office space upstairs in that space, or building in the there? In the actual what we consider the boat barn is a waterways building. Um, and there would just be like an office break room. Yeah, we can house everything, all of our equipment in there, get it out of the weather. Okay, yeah, we, we need to work on that. Let me make that. Up. Okay, 
phase, so we're going to plan on moving him. Yeah, let's plan on moving him. It'll create a best phase, and it'll give Rob that extra office. Okay, that sounds good. The chase, weeds, nothing. Okay. Oh, oh nice. I, uh, <laughs> I really like the, uh, the concept of the floor plan. I like the space. Uh, <coughs> my office currently is shared on a seasonal basis. And <coughs> it's tight. I'm also a records custodian, so getting everything shoehorned into where I'm at is is a stretch. So this would be you know, so this, this space is that's adequate for a uh, shared space. All my records, and would also give you the option for a, uh, a customer service desk, which would fit my my vision for interacting with customers. So Have we talked about trying to put every, make everything electronic on your end yet? Working towards it. Okay. Working towards it. I think that's the. I think that's what you mentioned. You need to get to with all the departments. I mean, Sessions Office has the same problem. Have that big room that's just full of records, okay. historical data that should be scanned. I know they're scanning it. I think it's. I think it should be the standard for all the departments. We get everything scanned, so we don't have a bunch of space wasted with with records. And that's that's something that I, I chip away at in yeah. January and February here and there. And there's since so most of these records are semi-permanent, it has to be maintained for five years. So it's been a lot. Four inch, five inch, three ring binders with the state caution materials. But I'm working towards it. Okay. I'd, I'd like to get that stuff digitized more than anything. No, I bet. But this is, I, I like this. I, uh, I gave this two thumbs up for my department's needs and also setting it up for the future and uh, uh, interacting with customers. <coughs> Great. As long as I've got access to a shared printer somewhere mm -hmm. uh, around the corner and saw the store. Yeah, so it's going to be similar to what's over here. Yeah, it's kind of what we're trying to do at this point, plus a little extra for the future. So, yeah. Okay, great. Woe well, well unto me to stick my nose in somebody else's business. Now, just you mentioned customer service. How would they get to your office? Well, that, that's, I guess, what would have to be hashed out with the design. Um, yeah, they're going to come in from your. They're not going to come in through my area. <laughs> so, so the idea there. Uh, the idea there is that they would go, we would have what we have now kind of a setup where we would have a receptionist that would work at the front desk that's down the hall from Brian. It would be kind of our main public interaction area and that person can direct people past her desk or their desk to solid waste, to weeds, to parks. That was the idea. Yeah, because that's exactly what we have right now. They come in through a bridge and they can direct that view. And originally our idea was to use Veterans receptionist and solid waste receptionist to work in tandem. So that the person, as soon as they walk in from whatever side of the building, they're gonna they're gonna be able to talk to somebody and say, hey, I need this, and they're gonna be directed. So it's gonna change a little bit, but I think that we can provide some direction. And well, we can use signage as well. Yep. <clears throat> I think well, Brian, you, you have some amount of pass through to get to assistance for Kevin's customers. I mean, is that? We, we do, but, we, but at least they only come through the one area. And um, so, yeah, 2015, we did have maybe a couple a week, but now we have, we don't have anybody coming through for his customers. Yeah, yeah it is just kind of going to that. The state's kind of whacking that out, so. And if this, to accommodate for whatever Brian needs, I mean, if I have to be, that space has to be moved to the second floor or elsewhere, I'm flexible as to where in the building it's at as long as I've got this amount of space. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Grace. And then two costs, too, to get jumped ahead again. What's that? Go ahead. What is the break room? Is that size? I don't hear each floor has their own fridge or microwave. Is this big enough for that building? Or yeah. How many fridges? Yeah. Break room. We're doing yeah. it with all breaks for county. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, one, it's one break room for the whole building. It'll be fine size wise. Yeah. Because the break rooms don't really get used. No, they don't have yeah. any yeah. here at all. It's, okay. it's, it's quite a bit larger than what we have here on each floor. And the second thought mm -hmm. was um, the big you know, unfinished second floor part. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to put an inexpensive, um, like a huge conference room because you have to do 100, 200 people. You're not spending money on it, just make a simple, big carpeted space. I mean, that place is going to be, I, I imagine that that place will be semi finished. Okay. We'll have the capability of sending the journals. Yeah, yeah. 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 we can we'll be able to utilize it. Yeah. It's also our, our kind of idea for it is, you know, if you maybe we in the future, if we need to, we can shift things around and have it off the space relatively simply, like 
Teddy's personnel can probably handle building a little office in there, or, and we can bump everybody around a little bit and make things work. So that's the idea. So, but it will be available for when you do the email mm -hmm. or you know whatever. <coughs> And then we're going to get to the point once we get through this and we'll our next phase will be talking to the electrical engineer and talking about what each office is going to require within reason yeah we're yeah we're definitely we'll yeah, we're mining farms no hot tubs yeah. Yeah, no. we're going to we're going to we're going to refine our design next our next step is to refine this design and get, get a, a really hard draft that we're going to look at again Yeah. We're not doing it yet, but down the road, you know, from a fan now of electric vehicles, there's a way to uh, stub in the ability to have a couple of chargers down the road because county vehicles that need to get charged. We've talked about that, and the what the thought is is that if we if the county were to decide to go in that direction, we would do it here. Okay. Because this is it's a shared parking facility, and part of the reason that the departments got chose to move over there is that we wanted to make this kind of a hub community interaction because the parking isn't quite as available over there so the idea was is that you know if anybody needs to talk to somebody in the county planning assessors whatever they're all in your community and they have one place to go so and then and to that effect um, I also want to say that part of this project is going to be adding a mid uh, block crossing so that because there a lot of us will be coming back and forth to this building often if you know if we're not teleconferencing or calling or whatever so that would be part of the project and i've talked to teddy already and we feel like we can keep that path safe and open all year round um, so that people can move freely in there so i would never come in the is there a skyway? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we haven't got the skyway yet. Yeah, that might be a little bump to the budget there. Yeah, yeah. skywalk. But it is a uh, It's maybe the 50 year plans. Okay, that's all I have. If anybody has any more comments or anything, you can reach out to me. If you if you want to opt out or get your departments changed from not going over the building or staying or whatever, you got to talk to your commissioners. They make decisions. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay. Well, it is 133, and we will go ahead and adjourn this meeting.